Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. And once again, welcome back to my 1970 Corvette and the 350 small block that we're putting back together to put in the car. Now, in this video, I want to show you guys what I'm doing with the camshaft. And as you could probably tell by this degree wheel, we are degreeing the camshaft. Now, not to bore you guys with all of my details and, um, you know, first time learnings, uh, I'm just going to kind of walk you guys through what I'm doing and what I have found. So what I am doing is degreeing the camshaft and the method that I'm using is the intake centerline method that Clay Smith Cams recommends. I will link their video down in the description below. It is a very straightforward video, very easy to follow, and that's the method and techniques that I'm using to do my degreeing on my camshaft. Now, what does this look like on my cam? Well, firstly, you gotta get your degree wheel installed and then get this pointer installed. And all this comes in a kit. Um, the kit I'm using obviously is Clay Smith Cam, so shout out to them. And then for the actual measurements, it comes with a degree wheel, um, this really long push rod, and then a lifter that you install onto the intake side of the camshaft or the intake bore on number one cylinder. So first what you gotta do is find TDC and you do that with the dial indicator. And then once you get TDC, you put the lifter in and then you can start doing your measurements from there. What you do is you find the point of highest lift and then you're gonna go um, forward and reverse. So clockwise and counterclockwise, you know, uh, direction of the camshaft, engine rotation forwards and then backwards, 50 thousandths. And then you come down here, follow the pointer and check your measurements. So I have already done that. And again, to spare you guys the details, as I said, we're using the lobe center method. And all this information comes from your cam card. And this is the cam card I got from Clay Smith Cams. And so all of these measurements are what we went through to figure out what my intake center line is. So on my cam, it recommends a 105 intake center line. So we wrote that down and I went clockwise and counterclockwise, took the measurements and then added and got the average. So my intake center line as installed is 108 degrees and the cam card recommends 105 which means we have to advance the timing or advance the crankshaft sprocket by three degrees to get it, you know, dead nuts on 105. Now, the problem is I don't have three degrees worth of timing advance on the sprocket. The sprocket is a nine keyway sprocket, but it goes by intervals of two degrees. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna clock it advanced two degrees, and then that'll get me within, you know, the margin of error, at least in my view, for this camshaft. So let's go ahead and get that done. All right, so just a real quick look at the crankshaft sprocket here. As I mentioned, it is keyed nine different ways. So you got straight up, dot to dot, and then you also have four adjustments on each side, two, four, six, eight on each side. Now, as I just showed you from the calculations and the measurements we made, we're gonna have to advance the timing by three degrees, but we only have even numbers. So for me, I'm going to go ahead and clock it to the advanced number two position. And that should get us within a degree of the intake center line. And for me, that's going to be good enough. All right. Now that I've got the crankshaft sprocket lined up to the advanced two, I'm just going to go ahead and bolt the camshaft sprocket back up and then we'll get everything set up again the degree wheel and then make sure that we have uh, so two degrees so that should be a hundred and seven uh, no I'm sorry 106 uh, lobe center line angle so let me get this stuff buttoned up and then we'll kind of see where we're at Okay, so after the second go around, so as you saw, we clocked the crankshaft sprocket, advanced two degrees, readjusted or reinstalled the degree wheel, and we did the same procedure where we measured 50 thousandths uh, clockwise and counterclockwise. And so we'll come over here to the board and take a look at our new measurements. I had 53 degrees counterclockwise, 50, 157 
clockwise, which gives us 210, cut that in half, you get 105 on the intake. So from the cam card, hopefully that focuses, center line timing on the intake is at 105. So we have successfully degreed the cam. Now, why that went from 108 to 105 when we only clocked at two degrees, I don't know. Perhaps that was just the way I was eyeballing it, uh, you know, looking at the pointer, which, you know, if you go this way or this way a little bit, you know, you could be off by a degree or so. Um, or perhaps, uh, well, I don't know what else it could be, but nonetheless, second time around, we measured 105, which is where it's supposed to be. So again, guys, I will have a link to the Clay Smith Cam YouTube tutorial on how to do this intake centerline method to degree your cam. But I gotta say that was, well, with a couple hiccups, you know, getting the dial gauge set up and then getting the uh, crankshaft sprocket pulled off and put back on again, it was a relatively straightforward and easy process. So again, go check out their video in the link down in the description below if you guys need to degree your cam. But for now, we are degreed at 105 where the cam card says it's supposed to be. So all is good with my custom Claysmith cam camshaft in my small block 350. Guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Hope it was somewhat helpful to you. Be sure to leave a thumbs up, and if you're not already, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I'd love to have you join the channel and follow along on this build. We've got a little bit of work left to do. I've got heads to put back on. We've got exhaust to do. Um, I've got a measure for push rods and a couple other things, you know, some detailing of the engine bay and that sort of thing. So be sure to subscribe. Make sure to follow along. Thank you guys for stopping by the channel, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.